Let's get out there. Sponsored by the Oregon Lottery. Uh, whether you have a green thumb or you've never planted a thing in your life, this story might just have you reaching for your gardening gloves. On this week's Let's Get Out There, Katherine Cook introduces us to a Northeast Portland woman who transformed her yard into a place she loves, and she hopes to help others do the same at their own pace. Gardening is growing. Gardening is learning. In Darcy Daniels' Northeast Portland garden, everything has a place and every space has a purpose. Look at all these plants in this narrow little space. And I do that partly because I'm gardening up, I'm gardening small, and I'm gardening layered. Each beautiful layer can be pretty intimidating for aspiring gardeners, just learning the difference between annuals and perennials. It was like that for Darcy once. How did we get here? Well, I can tell you that when I moved in, there was none of this. And she means none of it. Here's the house when Darcy and her husband bought it in 1998. Lots of brown grass and not a plant or tree in sight. And Darcy, she wasn't even a gardener until she was. Anyways, I started digging and I didn't turn back. And within uh, two years, I pretty much had my uh, property covered in plants. And I, by that time I had learned a lot, but still, still learning. Darcy loved it so much, she changed careers and became a landscape designer. Today, her passion lies in helping others discover gardening for themselves. You know, it's easy to come into a garden like this and think, oh, I can't do that. She created a website, eGardenGo.com. It offers a free, searchable database of plant combinations that users can try. Darcy's garden is full of examples. You know, this is with blue foliage. And if we go in here, look at it with variegated evergreen foliage. You know, the core mission of the website is to give inspiring ideas for combining plants mm -hmm. that are not only beautiful, but they are, uh, it's functional and practical. I think when you walk through a garden, especially like Darcy's, I already get all these ideas. Amy Coulter is executive director of the Hardy Plant Society of Oregon, 3,000 members strong. And our vision is to improve the world through horticulture. Amy says maybe the most popular benefit among members is the privilege of touring other members' gardens like Darcy's. They can pick their brains for advice and inspiration and learn that getting a little dirt under their nails can really bring people together. I just think about when I'm working out in my garden out near the street, people stop and want to talk about the plants. I give them bouquets of flowers if I'm doing some cuttings. The trick is just get started and have fun. And remember, making mistakes is also part of the fun. If you haven't killed a lot of plants, you're not uh, trying hard enough. In Northeast Portland, I'm Katherine Cook. I've killed a lot of plants. I must be doing something right. Let's get out there. I am talking.